I'm almost pretty sure that with the title alone, I got somebody type. All right, so before some of y'all get on my case, hear me out, right? I want you to understand something, right? I absolutely love JRPGs. Why? Where does the love for it come from? I absolutely love anime, right? So Japanese RPGs often look like animes, right? None of them are having this hyper-realistic realism, stuff like this. And in this specific video, in the background, you see me playing Nino Kuni 2 and Scarlet Nexus, which is a, a cyberpunk type game where everybody's connected via the brains and stuff like that. Very good game, by the way. And so I want to get back to the point of I've always had issues with JRPGs. And also, I want to count that you may or may not see my cat in my lap who also looks like the cat from Persona 5 since we're on a topic of JRPGs. But I've always had issues with JRPGs. I don't not think that they're fun. Mostly it started with because turn-based just ain't my thing, right? Turn-based was never my thing, and I don't think it'll ever be my thing. I even, speaking of turn-based, I tried to play Child of Light one time. I played maybe 10 to 15 hours of that game, enjoyed it, and then put it down. What I think, really what I wanted to say, depending on the price of the game, it also depends on the hours, amount of like hours that I've played within the game. Right, meaning if the game is fifty dollars and I put twenty to thirty hours, maybe even more, in the game, and even though I didn't finish it, I'm still satisfied. I almost probably, I, like, I've never finished JRPGs, but that you know that was true before you know a couple days ago when I was playing Scarlet Nexus, and that counts as a JRPG. I actually finished Scarlet Nexus. Now, pump your brakes. Of course, there's a second campaign, right? A second campaign. I'm not going back to that. I'm not gonna. You know, I, it took me. 36 hours to finish Scarlet Nexus and maybe I played it just a little bit of slow because JRPGs aren't fully my thing but I always appreciate it but I'm definitely man enough to admit that I just like the stuff because it might look pretty and it looks cool doesn't mean I'm going to finish it but I really want to enjoy the experience because I love anime I'm like it's a couple episodes a week that I watch of different series Jujutsu Kaisen and Demon Slayer can't wait for that season 2 to come out in this December like I'm a, a fan of anime really upset that fairy tale is over like i'm about that life but when it comes to jrpgs i really really want to get pulled into that world but i just feel like the hours are too long like i bought persona 5 because i thought the music was fire and even the gameplay is pretty dope but i have persona 5 r and i really i mean just keep it real i bought it because i wanted the steel case but i was also curious about persona 5 and all of the extra content so you get to play persona 5 r and then you also get to have like you know it's like 120 hours worth of content plus the dlc that's mad intimidating for a guy like me who plays stuff like god of war horizon zero dawn and those games are 35 maybe 40 hours and so you know i'm just really really wondering I, help me out my fellow jrpg fans let me know what you think i should do a starter like how do you think i should approach these games what do you think i should do because you know i'm a full-time parent single parent at that so i get really really tired sometimes but i don't have a lot of time to be digging into these games but given the fact i'm on vacation right now for the next two weeks without my children they are visiting family what games do you think i should get into let me know down in the comments below man and thank you thank you so much for listening to me on this video i didn't crap on jrpgs because look at this all of the menus and stuff right <laughs> but i need to know help me out what can i do to get better engulfed in it because the stories are often very good the Nino Kuni 2 story is pretty good and I'm getting further into it and I picked it back up so yeah let me know down in the comments below give me some advice and hopefully you really enjoyed this video if you like this go ahead and hit that like button if not hit the dislike it's all good and if you're new here please go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and make sure you turn on all those notification bells so you know when your boy is posting but with that this video is finito